All right, guys, so I try to do this How to Tuesday, but apparently my microphone is all jacked up. So, sorry for the voiceover, but this is going to have to do... Doing another installment of How to Tuesday, my favorite segment, so that's why I keep coming to you every Tuesday. And today we're going to do the How to Nolly. A Nolly is basically the opposite of a bunny hop. So as I demonstrate here, for a bunny hop, you're going to lift the front tire, then the back. A Nolly is quite the opposite, so you're going to lift the back first, and then the front. One thing that I do recommend in this is that you do know how to either manual or at least know how to do like a little bit of endos. Bunny hops don't necessarily need to be the requirement, but it does help if you do know how to do bunny hops. The best way to you know learn this trick is to do it on a curb, on flat surface, and then find either a line, a twig, or something along those lines. Let me go ahead and demonstrate a few of these techniques, and then let's see if you guys can get this dialed in. Also, here's where Adam22 comes in, and he distracts me by talking to a bunch of fans. All right, so to do this trick, you're gonna to wanna to approach the area where you wanna nollie at a nice casual rate. Lean all your momentum forward as you're lifting the back end by pointing your toes down and lifting up, and then you're gonna lift the front end to match the back end and get it up and over wherever it is that you're trying to nollie. When learning any trick, make sure you're in a comfortable area where you don't have your peers or your friends antagonizing you because that's gonna make the learning process a lot more difficult. This trick is pretty straightforward. It's not gonna take a lot of commitment, but it will take a lot of tries. Once you start getting the technique down, I always recommend hopping over things that are not gonna destroy your tires or cause you to have fear of falling down and getting injured. So find lines, find little twigs, find little things that you can learn to initially get up and over. Once you're ready to take it to the next step, then find something that's gradual and only a small step above from your learning curve. So the next transition after hopping over things, you're gonna to wanna to learn how to nollie onto the curb. So for this, you're gonna go a little faster than you did to get over the line. And I always recommend to go diagonal or parallel to the thing you're gonna hop over. That way it's a little less scary. Another reason that I recommend going parallel is that if you're not gonna get high enough onto the curb, then you'll just, let's say, get the back tire on and not the front. It won't do anything, it'll just kind of like rub up on the curb and it won't be too traumatic. But if you do that going straight up, then you might nollie and lift the back end high enough and not the front end. And if you're going pretty fast and only the front end and you don't lift it high enough, you're gonna end up going over the bars and you really don't want that because that's when you meet your face to the ground. So again, just approach the curb, make sure you lift the back end, get it up on the curb. And as you're lifting the back end, you're gonna want to match and get the front tire up and over the curb and ride away gracefully. Genuinely, there's not too much to this trick. I really think that you guys can learn it in 10 or 15 minutes, assuming you know the prerequisites like the manuals and the bunny hops. All it is, again, is not very scary. You're just gonna have to commit and spend some time with this trick in a parking lot, neighborhood, or wherever you feel comfortable. And then you can perfect other techniques like Nolly 180s and other Nolly variations. In case any of you guys missed anything, all it really takes is learning how to endo, which means you're getting the back tire up and off the ground. And the best way to do that is by pointing your toe down. And what that does is that it allows you to use your foot almost like a hand and you're gonna be cusping the pedal, lifting it up with that pointing down technique, which will allow you to lift the back end more comfortably. Then you just lift the front end, match that, and make it look easy. As always, these tutorials are meant to be pretty straightforward, and I hope you guys learn from these. When you do, I want you to go on Instagram, videotape yourselves doing these nollies, and tag me in them so I can see your technique. I can go then and berate you, or compliment you, or make some sort of comment, and engage with you guys. Again, this has been Alfredo Mancuso. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time without microphone issues, I hope. Cheers. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Time to live, but that we waste a lot of time.